What's going on guys, it's Fox2. I'm bringing you another really solid gameplay of Hardpoint on the map Cargo, which isn't really one of my favorite maps, but, you know, it's not the worst either. By no stretch of the imagination it is, is it as bad as Aftermath, which is probably the worst Call of Duty map I've ever played on. Um, this is an earlier gameplay from when the game was not very old yet. I'm running really low score streaks here. UAV, Hunter Killer, Care Package. Uh, we're using Hardline, Toughness, and Engineer. Which, you know, it's not a bad combination. If you're going to run Care Package, I think you should definitely be running Engineer so you can get the rerolls. Uh, I get a couple Care Packages in this game and re-roll them and get some really solid stuff, uh, including some dogs. So that really obviously helped out. Um, the gameplay. Uh, what I want to talk about today is the SMGs. Um, in this particular game, I'm using the Shycom. This is during the stretch when I was trying to get my diamond camos for the uh, submachine guns. Not particularly a big fan of that gun. A lot of people are. My opinion, I'm. It's just not for me. Um, so basically, what I want to go over. At this point, I've got my diamond uh, SMG, so I've extensively used all of the submachine guns, and I just want to kind of go over what I liked and what I didn't like about each of the different submachine guns. Um, we'll start off with the PDW. PDW is an awesome gun. You unlock it super early in a Prestige. It has the biggest magazine capacity of any of the submachine guns, which is fantastic. Um, it does take a little bit longer to reload. But it's really not that bad, especially if you throw fast mags on it. Um, I really like this gun. That's probably one of my top three favorite submachine guns. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next is the MSMC. This is probably, right now, my favorite. Oh, get shot. You can't jump over me, son. Anyway, the MSMC, going back to what I was talking about, the MSMC is probably my favorite submachine gun out of all of them right now. I uh, just, it doesn't seem like super powerful or it doesn't shoot as fast as a lot of them, but for whatever reason, I have a lot of luck with this gun. I usually run long barrel on it. That really seems to help with the, with the drop off of the power at longer ranges. Um, I would definitely recommend trying it out. Uh, next, the Vector. Uh, I can't stand this gun. A lot of people love it. I don't like it. It's got predictable recoil, but it's got a lot of recoil. You know, it's like a straight line pattern recoil, but the thing shoots so fast that it just burns through ammo. And, you know, the, the amount of recoil, if you're really laying into a target, is, is, in my opinion at least, it's very hard to control. So it's not one of my favorite guns. Right here, perfect example. Engineer just changed a Guardian over to Dogs. It's worth it, for sure. Um, Scorpion is another pretty solid, uh, solid SMG. But man, it really crushes through ammo. You really need to have extended mags and probably even Scavenger, in my opinion, to make this class a you know, a really relevant class where you can get some higher kill streaks with it. Otherwise, you're going to flat out run out of ammo and you're going to be looking for somebody's gun to pick up for half the match. So that's, uh, you know, because of that high rate of fire, you're getting a lot of recoil on that gun as well. The MP7, I like this gun a lot. It's got low recoil. It's got, I believe, the fastest reload time of any of the submachine guns, which is always a plus. Um, anytime you can get by without having to run fast mags, is that just opens up a slot for, uh, for other attachments. And the only downside of this is it seems like it doesn't do quite as much damage. I don't know, I haven't really crunched the numbers on the damage ratings and all that that some commentators do. I just go based on performance. How does the gun perform for me? And, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of getting over a cold here. This particular gun doesn't seem like it does as much damage as some of the other options, like an MSMC or like a PDW. Um, still super solid gun, I really like it. Um, and then that leaves us with the last one, which is the one that I'm using in this particular, ooh, hunter killer double kill. Gotta love those. 
um, the Shycom CQB. This gun is, in my opinion, it seems super powerful. That's a kill. Uh, it shoots extremely fast three-round bursts, and it does not have very much recoil at all. I'm personally not a big fan of this gun just because I don't really care for... I just don't really care for burst fire weapons. Um, I just prefer the automatic weapons over the burst fire. So that's my rundown. That's what I've noticed on these different submachine guns. Let's go, let's so you're go. probably wondering, Fox, well, the whole point of this video is for me to be able to find out what submachine gun I should be using. And you haven't told me yet. Well, in my opinion, the best submachine gun for you to use is the one that works. You need to try them all, test them out, work different class setups. Um, if you don't, if you know, if you're worried about messing up your KDR, go into a private match with your friends and just try some different class setups, try some new guns, figure it out. So if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely click the subscribe button. I appreciate all the support and make sure you share this video with your friends. Uh, as you can see, the video is now wrapping up. Um, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you guys later. Mission directive achieved. Well done.